So the question is, is what is a port 80 redirect? So the important thing to understand is that web servers by default use port 80 for any kind of HTTP traffic. So if you go to a website, whether it's failnormal.com or youtube.com or some other website, and you plug in HTTP colon slash slash www.failnormal.com, and then you go to the website, the port for that network traffic will be port 80. And so this is all just done in the background and you don't have to worry about it. The problem is, is if you're gonna be setting up a web server on a residential internet service provider connection, many times, those residential ISPs will block port 80. Uh, so this is a brute force way for them to try to prevent you from running web servers on your own network. And so what they do is they just simply block port 80. And then if you try to have any inbound port 80 traffic, it will simply be blocked and your web server won't work. This has led to a lot of frustrations for new uh, web server administrators where they create their new web server, they set up port forwarding, they think they did everything correctly, Correctly, but nobody can connect to their their web server and the reason is that the is at the ISP level port 80 is being blocked now what you can do to run your web server uh, from your home if port 80 is being blocked is you can change the default configurations for your web server to use a different port uh, by by default you can generally also use port 8080 or you can go into the configurations and change to port 7 1506 if you really wanted to you could plug in any port you wanted the problem here is is that you can set up your web server and your network to work normally so you can set up port forwarding within your router to to route uh, whatever port that is to your web server you can set up your domain your DNS to point to your IP address but the issue is is that people would then have to plug in that port number when they're trying to go to your domain so let's say I set up fail normal to run off of port 8080. If somebody wanted to then go to my web server, they would have to type in www.failnormal.com colon 8080. Because 80 is default, if I'm going to use any other port other than 80, I have to type in colon and whatever that port number is. This works. This works completely fine. But if you've ever deal, dealt with any normal users, telling them that they have to plug in a port number in order to go to a website is probably not going to work out very well. And so you can use a service from a company such as no-ip.com, which is called a port 80 redirect. So if you set up your DNS service with no-ip.com, when you go through and you deal with all the configurations, one of the configurations that you, that you can set up is the port 80 redirect. So this is where, what port should your web traffic be uh, sent to by default. So normally it's port 80, but you can go into the configuration panel and you can change it to 8080 or 7,564 or whatever port number it is that you want to use that your web server has been configured to. Then once you do that, what happens is the, the visitors don't see that port number. They just go to that port by default. So if you then type in www.failnormal.com, if I've set up my web server to run off of port 8080, automatically no-ip.com, their DNS service will simply route people to port 8080 versus routing them to port 80. And this is what's called a port 80 redirect. So basically all you're doing is you're redirecting around uh, port 80. So that's all a port 80 redirect is. If you're interested in learning more about it, go to no-ip.com. It is a great, great service, a great tool, especially if you're going to be using web servers from your home. Um, and I've personally used it a lot in the past.